it's been a while since I've sat down in front of the camera and just played with random new products. I've had a lot of new items entering my collection that I haven't had the chance to play with yet. So that's what we're gonna do. There's no specific direction that we're going other than playing with some new makeup items. Like I have, actually this one's brand new, the Rare Beauty Concealer we're gonna try today. I've been dying to try the Sigma palette right here. We have the ColourPop Powerpuff Girls collection, kind of throwing it back. and amongst other things, high-end, indie, drugstore. There's a lot of range in today's video, so if you just wanna sit down and play with makeup, and just keep watching. A huge thank you to Karma for sponsoring in this portion of today's video. I've been lucky enough to partner with them multiple times before because it really is so awesome. Karma is an app and a Google Chrome extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or a coupon code. For all of my fellow shoppers out there, I highly recommend this for you. I'm gonna have the link down below for you to download it. It's very, very easy. A few months ago, Karma changed their name from Shop Tiger to Karma. You know, they're always expanding their capabilities and their new name represents the good karma they provide by helping you shop smart. Lately, I've been buying a lot of clothes, more than I'd like to admit, like this new top <laughs> is new. And I don't know, I tend to order so fast that I always forget to put in my coupon code and Karma has been reminding me to do it. So it's been saving me money as well as just reminding me to use my coupon codes, okay? I'm no longer wasting money from that. <laughs> so it's really easy to download and work right on whatever you're using to shop. So on your computer, you're just gonna download the Chrome extension and you can visit any of your favorite stores as you normally would shop. You guys know Sephora, Ulta, and then for clothes lately, it's been a lot of Shein for me, Abercrombie, a lot of American Ego. Anyways, visit your favorite shops and once you find an item that you really like, you're gonna click on this button over to the side right here. And if you're not quite ready to pull the trigger, you you can have Karma notify you when there's a price drop or when it goes on sale for even a specific percentage or size. So that is so useful. I feel like my size is always sold out, so this is a great feature. I love that it allows you to choose an option to be notified when a specific size comes in. Once you've saved that item, you're gonna get a notification via email or mobile push when an item that you've saved has gone on sale, has a coupon code, or is back in stock. You can even organize the items that you saved into lists. For me, this is specific to myself, but I have mine for makeup items that I'm keeping an eye out for you guys to go on sale, makeup items that I personally want to go to sale, and then also clothing items for myself. So I have all those lists available for me. It's an easy way for me to stay organized for all of the things that I love. <laughs> this is gonna allow you to shop for more mindfully and more intelligently during these times. And honestly, it means less impulse buys because I do a lot of those. <laughs> Here's one of my favorite features. Karma will scan the internet for coupon codes and applies them at checkout automatically. It saves you the research. And every time I research, I can't even find coupon codes anyways. So this does it all for you. This is a special if you use Karma on your computer. So make sure you have that Chrome extension downloaded. You can even earn cash via PayPal when you shop at select retail partners. So if this sounds like something that you'd be interested in, you can download Karma's free Chrome extension through the link down below or I also have the text right here. <laughs> so make sure you download it. If you're an online shopper like myself, it's completely free. Like that's the best part. It's completely free and it only saves you money. So again, thank you Karma for sponsoring this portion. Let's get into the video. <sighs> I really don't know where to begin. I just, I'm excited to throw this stuff on my face. We're gonna start off, I suppose, with these Milani Glow Drops. This is the Milani Glow Drops Radiance Boost serum. This was sent to me in PR and I will tell you guys what was sent to me, what I purchased. Majority is PR but some I did purchase anyways. I've been really liking the Milani face primers lately and while this isn't a face primer, it's close enough right? We're gonna use it as that. So here's what packaging looks like. Super cute Milani. By the way, this might happen Okay, here's a story that you don't care about. I ordered this from Amazon. It's so cute, right? Well, I ordered it in a size large. I actually have it in a size small. Fits so much better, a little bit more cropped. I kind of like the loose fit of the large, but this keeps falling down, so <laughs> be forewarned. Also, hey, this deserves a whole introduction. 
Hello. Okay, here we go. <gasps> we'll get a little bit closer. Also, it's a rainy day, so my room is so dark, so I'm filming with the white background because it's a little bit brighter this way. How to use, apply one to two pumps all over the face for a dewy glow. Sounds good to me, let's do that. This is what it looks like. It has a little bit of color to it. Ooh, it's a little sticky. It's kind of thick feeling, but it looks really good on the skin. It looks a lot better than it feels. I don't really like this feeling on my fingers. Super sticky. It does say it works great as the first step in your makeup routine. So here we are, super glowy, kind of thick. I want to wash my hands. Let me get my hair out of my face. Also from Milani, they sent along these glow hydrating skin tints. I'm gonna assume I'm light to medium. This is a skin tint, so I don't know. I might have to go a little bit heavy with concealer today, but I really wanna try this. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. sponge that came out with their Electric Mood Collection. Let's see how much coverage this gives. Oh, this is a little bit dark for a light to medium. Let me mix in a little bit of light. I think that might work better. Have all of the product in my cap. Just gonna blend them together. That's a little bit better. I mean, this is a skin tint, so I'm not about to act surprised when this gives me no coverage, but it's not giving me much coverage. So you know, sometimes skin tints do be giving you coverage and their advertising is false. I feel like this e.l.f. sponge is sucking up a lot of product. Okay, so here's how we're looking. It's a skin tint, it's fine. If you don't like a lot of coverage, this is perfect for you. I am so extremely dewy. I'm gonna try and tone that down with this new concealer. I bought this myself. This is the One Size Turn Up The Base Butter Silk Concealer. I've used this a couple times. I'm still trying to gauge my opinions on this. I have light three, which you can see is kind of light. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this color, but we're gonna make it work. And like I said, I'm applying more than I normally would just so that we can hide some redness, but people seem to be liking this concealer. I don't have anything bad to say about it so far. So that's good. That means nothing has stood out to me as it being a bad concealer, but nothing stood out to it being a great concealer. But we'll see today, cause she's gonna have to put on some work for us today. And so is whatever bronzer we're using, cause I am looking light today. The shape of this e.l.f. sponge is amazing, but it's almost too squishy. So the concealer is doing a great job of compensating for the lack of coverage from the skin tint and they look really good together. It also is toning down a little bit of the dewiness. This isn't a super full coverage concealer, but it gives a decent amount of coverage. I say like a medium. Looks really nice on the skin. Like I said, I haven't had anything bad to say about this. So, so far so good. Okay, so I'm gonna do my eyebrows and then I'm gonna set with powder and then we'll be back for the next step. Eyebrows are done. I lightly powdered with a translucent powder because I was so glowy that Milani Glow Skin Tint, it makes you glowy. I recommend using powder. As you can see, we're moving on to the eyeshadow. So I've been dying to finally put this on my eyes. This is the Sigma The Dream Palette. It was in collaboration with Beauty Bird. I've been using the brushes a lot and speaking of them a lot the last few weeks on my channel. Finally, I'm trying this eyeshadow palette. Now, if you're new here, here's my thing with Sigma. I don't like their formula but I love their color stories and the color story here was speaking to me but I've always had bad luck with the formulas and I have to say I did this eye first and so far I really like this palette I haven't used all of the shades so you know subject to change but first impressions very happy with it didn't use too easy colors to use so let's do it <laughs> so i'm gonna start off with carmelito right here which has a lot of warmth to it i love it shades like this i wanted to go with the green colors today because i'm wearing a green shirt so that was my inspiration i'm using a bk beauty 201 brush and i didn't set my eyelids i just used some of the one size concealer and you can see it blended out so easily i'm gonna apply some to my lower lash line as well. I didn't do anything fancy with this look. I just did a very typical technique that I 
do, but I really wanted to play with certain colors to see how they worked. So that's why I did it this way. So next we're going in with 805 and I've used some bad greens from Sigma. So my hopes were not very high with this color and I'm quite impressed with how easily this blends and the pigmentation that you get. My typical problems with Sigma formulas is I find that I can't get them to blend that good. They look patchy and then I have to spend like a year and a half getting the shades to blend. For some reason with this palette, that's just not happening. They're blending so easily. I'm very happy though because <laughs> I really do love the colors in this palette. Do you see that? No issues. I'm gonna run it along my lower lash line. You can see I'm doing kind of a halo eye. It's not gonna be an intense halo eye because the center color I'm using isn't too deep, but we're setting it up that way. So it's just gonna be a generally darker eye. So far, so good. The only negative that I could say is maybe sometimes the green does disappear, so I have to keep rebuilding, but it's not the same problems that I've had in the past, and I'd much rather have this problem than not being able to blend it out. I'm taking a smaller brush, and we're going into Woof Woof to add some definition. I'm using this Olimara Cosmetics Detail Diffuser Brush. I really need to buy more of these because they are just the most amazing detail blending brushes. Putting it right along the lower lash line, basically every single color that we're using. I'm blending it into the lower lash line. It's just going to be a hodgepodge of all the colors that I use. And if you feel like it's getting too brown like I did, I went in with more of the green and put it right on top just to keep it green. So I added the depth with the brown, but I'm keeping it green by just layering it over top. It's looking good. I still have the center of the eyelid left open. We're gonna use Maya, which is the shimmery green shade. Ugh, oh, they are so creamy, you guys. I'm using a Sonia G Builder Brush, and this shimmer is so creamy. It picks up on the brush so well, it applies to the skin so well. These are the kind of shades that work great with a finger, but I'm impressed with how great it's working with a brush. The color just picked right up on my brush. Now this is not a synthetic brush so that might have to do with it but oh look at this so pretty. I'm gonna take the tip of the brush and we're gonna apply that color in the inner half of the lower lash line. This is gonna brighten up the eye. We're taking some of Milagro on the finger again super pigmented super shiny and I'm just patting this right in the center just to brighten up the look a little bit. Nothing crazy. I'm not looking to build it up too much but it just added a little bit of brightness there. Finally we're going into Libra right here and I'm just using a pencil brush. Oh wrong eye. <laughs> and we're gonna use this as our inner corner color, our brow bone color and this is the look. It's really simple and you guys this palette from Sigma is one of the best that I've personally tried. I'm really happy about that because I love the colors. I've only used a few of the colors though so I'm gonna have to continue playing with this but so far so good. Really excited about that. I did have a few questions about it obviously because the color story is so pretty and you guys know I'm not partial to their formula but this one good one so far. Let's add some color to the face and then we'll head back up to the eyes. We're gonna start off with bronzer. I got this a while ago from Pixie. This is the Shape Shifter palette. This is in collaboration with Miss Promise who I really love. She's an extremely talented makeup artist. She does a lot of those transformations videos where she turns herself into somebody else. Honestly, incredible. I've heard mixed things about this palette. I caught this a while ago and just haven't had the chance to use it. So we're going to use it ourselves. I'm only really going to use one shade though, just to shade the outside of my face. I love the acrylic packaging of Pixie. I know it's simple, but I just love being able to see the colors. Yes, we're going to start off with this cooler shade right here. I'm using a refer number five brush. Let's see what we think about her. There's a few different types of colors here but just because my complexion has such light coverage I don't want to go too heavy with what I apply on my face because sometimes I can find if you apply too dark of a contour or bronzer shade and your face has light coverage over top it can look really dirty really fast. I just dipped my brush in twice and it's tracing my whole face which is really nice. The shade is cool, but I think just because of the other colors that I have, it's not pulling quite so cool, which I like. Ooh, really nice. I'm actually going to use the same brush. We're just going to clean it up a bit with this brightening shade. 
So it's not adding as much pigment as I would like. And I think that's all I'm gonna do out of this palette. I can't really speak on my final thoughts on it because I haven't really dug in to use it. And I wanna use a foundation that I'm more comfortable with before I give my final thoughts on this. But as far as the bronzer, it got the job done. It looks really good. It blended in really nicely. So, so far, so good. But again, we will see. For blush, I have not yet dug into my Powerpuff Girl blushes from ColourPop. A while back, ColourPop came out with a collection, of course, with the Power Girls, and I was a huge Powerpuff Girl fan growing up, and the packaging of these are just so cute. Oh, wow. So this is fighting crime. I think that might clash. Anybody else think so? I think the other one is really bright as well. I don't know about these selections. I need a warmer blush. Oh no, this is perfect. So this is saving the world. This is the kind of color that I need. This one's definitely the more wearable of the two. ColourPop has very nice blushes. It's a bit bright, but that's okay. Ugh, I love the ColourPop blushes. They're so good. They're so affordable and the packaging is so cute. Recommend this one. The other one I'm not too sure about, but if you're into Powerpuff Girls, this one is worth it. I know I'm super late on this collection. I think this collection came when I was like on vacation or something. So I still need to play with the eyeshadow palette as well, but super cute. Always love a good ColourPop blush. I did apply a bit too much. It was a bit brighter than I wanted. So I'm gonna go in with my sponge that I used to blend in the foundation and we're gonna press this into the skin. Next up, we are digging into highlighter. This is from Sigma. This is the Glow Kissed Highlight Palette. This just looks beautiful. I did get this in PR. That's why I have it. Uh, but I don't think you can go wrong with highlight, really. These look very, very bright. I think I definitely want something more gold. I'm aware that this might be too deep. This is golden hour, but we're gonna see. I'm using a MAC 133 brush. Oh, yeah, that's really gold. That's a bit deep on me. Not, not cute. That's not for me. <laughs> Let me kind of push it in and pretend like we didn't do that. If you have my skin tone, that's not a good highlight. That's okay. I was asking for it. We'll do flare. We'll play it safe now. <gasps> Ooh, that's really pretty. These are quite, quite shiny. So if you don't like some a shiny highlight, not subtle. So if you are the wearable highlighter kind of person, these do have almost like a metallic sheen to them and they are very creamy so they pick up on the brush really heavy even i'm kind of toning it down but if you like that glow it looks really pretty and because it is so creamy it really is blending in nicely with this skin i messed up by using that really dark color that was not meant for me i can kind of see peeking through not as flattering but that was my own mistake uh but yeah this is nice i decided to keep it for a reason i could have put it in a giveaway but i'm happy i kept it but it's very very metallic actually let's use some as an inner corner color we're using that flare shade oh my gosh so metallic but really really pretty i like it this is nice <laughs> Okay, so for eyeliner, I have a new product for you guys. I picked this up with the Wild Obsessions palettes from Huda Beauty, and they also came out with their an eyeliner. Their eyeliner has been on sale for a while. It's because they were reformulating for this one. And I haven't talked about this yet, but I've used it a couple of times, and I wanted a video to talk about it with you. This is the Huda Beauty Life Liner Quick and Easy. Sorry, my phone's volume is on. I should know better by now. This has the tiniest little brush Head I've ever seen on a liquid liner besides the Tom Ford. So if you like the smaller side of the Tom Ford liquid liner, you might like this. They also have the tiniest brow pencil ever, so they've mastered this tiny applicator thing. I'm gonna apply this to get my mirror here, sorry. It's really, really great for getting as close to the lash line as possible, but for then, if you like a thicker wing, this takes way too much time. So if you're really looking for the precision, this is great. It applies a nice amount of product. It could use a little bit more thickness in the formula, maybe a little bit more blackness, because I feel like it does kind of blend in with the shadow a little bit. But given how tiny the applicator is, I really like it, so. Okay, so I definitely don't think this is gonna be everybody's cup of tea. The, <laughs> the liner is so tiny. 
I mean, if you do thick stuff on the eyes, I don't think you'll like it. But if you need precision, this is awesome. So overall, I think for what it is and how tiny it is, I have to give them credit. They did a good job with this. My wings are like pointing the opposite directions. I'm putting falsies on, so it's fine. But. Okay, we have a new mascara to try. I always say this with my mascara reviews. Take my mascara reviews with a grain of salt because I don't have the best lashes in the world. The people who do the best mascara reviews are the ones that actually have lashes but I'm about to give you some very realistic <laughs> results so I was lucky enough yesterday to, set, to get this in PR from Rare Beauty they launched this just a couple of days ago and I really wanted to try it so Selena Miss Selena Gomez advertised this as being a universal mascara for every type of lash Okay, so just call it the Perfect Strokes Universal Mascara. We'll see about that, Selena. I'm using my Refer Lash Curler. Get them nice and curled. And the packaging, really simple. Let's take a look at the spoolie. Kind of big. It has very small bristles. So let's see. I normally don't like a wand like this. We're going to do the lower lashes first because that's where you're going to be able to see the most results on me. You see it on the lower lash line. It's not very volumizing, but we'll see how it builds. What it's doing a great job of is separating the lashes. It's adding a little bit of length. Nothing crazy on my lashes though. It's almost is a little bit more natural. I personally think I'd like a little bit more volumizing, maybe a little bit of a thicker formula, but... This could also use some time to dry out a little bit. That's normally when I like mascaras better. But let's do the other eye. Why does it look better on this eye? I don't love what it's doing with my lower lashes. I have some mascaras that give me a little bit of better results. But let's do a second coat. Let's see. I really like how this mascara is building up. It's not getting too clumpy, which is something that happens to a lot of mascaras. No matter how many times I'm going through it. So it's building really nice. It's not my favorite mascara. But it's definitely a decent mascara. If I had nicer lashes to begin with. I feel like I'd like this a lot more. I just am very picky. There's very few mascaras that I like. So this is a, a big fat. It's, it's okay. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to put on some falsies. And then I'll be back to finish the lips with you guys. I lined my lips with a little bit of Dana from Natasha Denona. And I wanna try these new Makeup Revolution products. These are their Matte Balm Liquid Lips. They sent me like so many colors. That's not all of them. Of course, I'm gonna go for the lightest, most nude shade. This is Nude Charm. So I lined my lips, so let's see. Comes in a frosted container. It's plastic though. Mmm, it smells like like a vanilla cream frosting. It's very specific, but... Oh, this is super nude. I love it. You need a lip liner with this, though. I mean, let's face it. With the mask life, even if you hate matte lips, they're the best. They're all you can do. This color is really pretty. She's a bit drying, but nothing crazy. It's a matte liquid lipstick. Not my favorite formula. I can actually kind of feel it on my lips now. It's okay, but it's gonna be an affordable price and they really do have tons and tons of colors and crazy colors like I really like this color even though I might not be as partial to the formula this is a good color I do have some butthole going on but we'll see how it settles anyways I'm wearing green so we gotta change these lights is there green ha 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 yes that's more fitting okay I'm gonna get myself together and then uh we're gonna check out here all right guys so here is the final look i would say my favorite thing that i definitely tried today was the sigma beauty the dream palette i just it really impressed me with the quality it's the first palette that i've really enjoyed and i love the color story from sigma so this is a standout i tried a lot of really good things though today i also really like the powerpuff girl blushes the Sigma Highlight Palette. Lots of good things, but also lots of kind of average things. I wouldn't say there was anything in this video that I didn't like. The Makeup Revolution Matte Bombs are a bit drying for my preference. I don't know about the skin tint. It looks okay, but we'll see how it wears. Was this video even helpful at all to you guys? I'm, I'm still going to be testing these products, and I'll have to update you if any of my thoughts change. But again, here's the final look. But at the end of the day, I'm really into the final look. I think it's really cute. This is not cute. Hmm. All right. I'm, I'm going to end the video here. Again, a huge thank you to Carmel for sponsoring this video. 
I will have the link in the description box in for you to download their Chrome extension. And if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.